Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chong, and welcome to your friendly proctologist. Thank you so much for being here today. Wherever you are in the world, I hope your recovery is going well or that you're getting yourself on the path to recovery. This channel is about giving you useful, helpful, and real information because we all know the internet is really bad at giving anything helpful, right? So the topic for today is more like a situation and there are there have been a lot of questions um, for, through the comment section, but I get this question all the time in, uh, in my office with my patients. So the situation is you have your bowel movement, but why is it that after you poop, you feel like you still have more to go? And the tricky part of it though, is that you feel like there's more to go, but sometimes you have, sometimes you actually have another bowel movement and then the other times, there's actually nothing there. Nothing happens. Why is that, Dr. Chung? What the heck is going on? And I'd like to answer this situation, explain it to you today. But before we get to the answer, please like and subscribe to this channel. It greatly helps the mission. Also, check out the description box for my products, the products that I recommend, they're not my products, <laughs> the products I recommend to assist you with your flares, and also details for video consultations. All right, so let me explain the situation here. So a little more detail is that if you get the signal, you get the urge to go number two. So you sit down in the toilet and most patients tell me, you know what, I get my job done. I get it out in about five minutes. But the patient, will also tell me they usually spend about 15, 20 minutes on the toilet at times. And I'll ask them why? If you get the job done in five minutes, then what are you doing for the other 15? And of course, you know, they're doing their phone thing, but that's not the reason why they're on there. There's the reason why the patient's on the toilet is because they feel like they have more left to get out. There's more to poop out. And I said, okay, well, how many times have you felt the urge to have more, but actually nothing comes out? And then the patient will open their eyes really big and say, huh, actually maybe about half the time. And then I'll, know, I'll smile at that because I know exactly what's going on even before the patient gave me that answer, okay? So let me tell you, or let me give you the background of the situation here, right? What's happening to lead up to the situation? As soon as you sit down in the toilet, the blood rushes to your butthole. The hemorrhoids will swell up because that's what they do. They just carry blood in their blood vessels. You won't necessarily notice that you feel swollen right away but after you poop you definitely feel something may feel more full maybe it feels a little bit warm um, but the hemorrhoids hate their job and that irritation causes them to just get a little bit more fired up and therefore a little bit more swollen so now what well because things are more swollen they then excite another or they flick on a switch for another set of nerves, okay? These nerves live on top of your anus and at the bottom of your rectum. So if your anus is here, outside world is down below, your rectum's at the top, these nerves live right on top of there, okay? Their job is to let you know whether you have gas. Is it safe to fart? Is it liquid? You gotta run to the toilet? Or is it solid? You know, maybe you can wait, but it gives you an idea so that you know what to anticipate. What else does these nerves do? Well, they also tell you if there's something there inside your rectum. But <laughs> the big but here is that they are not very sophisticated. You know, they'll know what one plus three is, that's four, but if you give them 326 times 72, they'd be like, oh, oh gosh, you know, 
Uh, I'm not sure. That's a little bit above their level. You know, they're, they're not geared up to that level of computation, if you will. Okay. So what's happening is these guys are firing off and sending signals to the brain, telling the brain that we've got another live one. We've got to go number two again. But what's the problem here? The swelling of your hemorrhoids is tricking those nerves into thinking that there is more poop left, even though there is nothing there. So the swelling is taking up space and making those nerves feel like, oh, we've got another one. You better hold on tight because something else is coming through. Okay. But it's true that sometimes you may get another piece of poop that plops down and therefore you poop that one out but the other times in both situations okay the hemorrhoids are sending the signal to your brain but it's not an appropriate time to go yet your colon is always going to be moving poop into your rectum always because it's like a train right you store up the rectum fill it up it's time to empty it and then when the reservoir is empty, your rectum is empty, the colon then shoots more down. And that's how the cycle goes. You know, you empty it out, fill it back up, but it always fills a little bit at a time. So when you get that urge to go, the colon is already sending some more stuff down there, but it doesn't mean it needs to be pooped out right at that moment. Okay, it just mean it's just doing its job, sending things down the conveyor belt but when it doesn't send something down right away that's when you're sitting on the toilet for longer expecting another poop but you're like push you wait longer you're like huh what the heck I still feel it but nothing is happening and that is the problem with sitting on the toilet for a long time is that your hemorrhoids start to really swell up you're starting to get push your hemorrhoids into a flare, right? Because all the hot, heavy blood is in there. And if you push in that situation and you damage a hemorrhoid, you just put yourself into flare. Even if you pass another small bowel movement with those blood-filled hemorrhoids that are easy to blow up and injure again, you're also putting yourself at risk for another flare-up, okay? And so my recommendation is, if you finish your business in less than five minutes, just get off the toilet as, as fast as you can. Avoid sitting there, period, because that gamble is too much to risk. Whether you get a poop out, in other words, win, or nothing comes out and you strain there for nothing or you lose, okay? It's a lose-lose situation. You may be surprised that if you get up early after five minutes, after that first session, that your swelling goes away and you may not need to poop at all. That will really blow your mind, I'm sure. <sighs> but I'll tell you that the other thing you've saved yourself from is that hemorrhoid flare. Now, let's say, okay, some people will say, you know what? After I get up, I always have to go back. So, okay, that's fine. Go ahead and try again, but limit yourself to five to 10 minutes because if you sit there longer and longer, your hemorrhoids will then start to get irritated and that signal that something is there will come back over and over again. And that's where you're starting to encourage bad habits, habits that make you and your friends excuse me, you and your hemorrhoids to be enemies. We want them to be friends, okay? We want, you, we want to be in harmony with our bottom ends. And so I hope this situation or this explanation helped that, uh, to explain it. <laughs> and I hope this information helps you and yeah, perhaps inspires you to change your habits. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.